Here at Tormach, we love sharing our customer stories. So here's Two Bit Circus, which is as crazy as it sounds. Check it out. So Two Bit Circus got started by uh, doing these small events. We would rent out these games that we were making, literally like making them in our backyard, and bringing them to events and helping basically corporate people have fun with each other. And so we learned a lot very quickly about how, how to make games that people enjoy, how to get people uh, out of their element and thinking about new things. And we used a lot of uh, you know, game mechanics and uh, social dynamics to, and, and you know, computer technologies and all sorts of things to make just basically fun entertainment for people at parties. It was a, it was a great gig. Uh, we have our fingers in a lot of different pots, from VR to uh, events and uh, uh, interactive-based things. We're also working on consumer products. We have a whole bunch of different things we're doing, but they're all based around the future of entertainment. Uh, in our tool set, we have a, a whole bunch of different tools that we use, from welding to you know woodworking tools, and. We use the Tormach when we need that one special piece that we just can't buy. Uh, we have to make a lot of custom things sometimes. Custom camera mounts or custom, uh, you know, for our VR rigs that we're designing or uh, custom bearings for a, uh, a moving platform that we're making or, or what, what have you. We're able to use this Tormach to make these otherwise very difficult to, to source parts. <clears throat> yeah, the reason why we went with the Tormach is because uh, it's, it's really the right size machine for the job. I mean, we, uh, we have limited shop space, um, and this is a great size for what we need. And it's also about the right size for the parts that we're making. So it's perfect for what we need for our shop. And it's, it's the right price and the right capabilities. <laughs> One of the best uh, examples of, of our ingenuity and how our team works is the uh, um, a project we did using uh, six paintball guns to paint a picture on a wall behind a car for a car company. And so what we did for that is we used Tormox fourth axis rotary tables to uh, control very accurately the pitch and the yaw of these guns and we could uh, paint this beautiful picture behind a car. So it kind of combined a lot of the strengths of our company in a one big, one big showpiece. One of the fun things about working at 2-Bit Circus is we get a lot of odd jobs that come our way. Um, and one of them that was kind of interesting uh, recently is we did a, a couple projects for JPL, uh, the Jet Propulsion Lab here uh, in, in Southern California. The, the, the art piece we're working on right now, we're, we're calling it the Planet Pointer, and it's basically a sign that a, uh, a signpost sign that give information on a scrolling uh, LCD screen saying that Jupiter is X number of miles away or Saturn is this temperature or uh, you know this star is going to supernova whatever it might be and it live tracks uh, as, the, as the earth is spinning from underneath it so in the past we built a, uh, a very successful uh, music video for OK Go it was a, it was a large Rube Goldberg machine but what it led to was all sorts of teachers and parents and students around the country emailing us asking if we could help them make one or if we could uh, you know, show them how, the, how we did it and all of that stuff. And so we realized that there's a huge market for this sort of hands-on learning that we think that was so valuable to, in our own growing up, you know, like everything we learned was by trying it and failing. <laughs> and that's what Rube Goldberg machines are about. So uh, we, had a, a, we knew there was a big market for people, a big desire for, to see some of this entertainment. And so we decided to make a permanent location, kind of like a premier uh, destination, where we can show off the future of entertainment. We'll have uh, virtual reality rigs that you can explore. Uh, a lot of our custom games that we make and, and have been wildly successful at uh, events, we're finally going to put those in a permanent location where people can enjoy them. We became known as the guys that would build things that was that was, was too difficult to do it fake. It was actually easier to do it real. They would hire us to do it, and we had to figure it out how to make it happen. But that's we love that challenge. It's a it's a fun job to be honest with you. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Check out our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.